Hi, I'm Nardan Sari, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can have this car scroll game physics in your game. So there is a motor in here. There is a, you can change a lot in this car. You can make it motor on back, motor on front. You can do a lot with it. And you can see in this car, um, the motor is in the back. Let me show you. If you go, you can see just motors is working on the back wheel. And we want to learn how we can do this, how we can do this bridge and everything. So without any further ado, let's begin. If you remember from my last video, we did create something like this, this seesaw that we can use it in our car scroll game physics project in Game Maker, right? So let's just create a new project. If you haven't watched my last video, you can go to my channel and in there just go to playlist there is a playlist for car 2d scroll game physics and in there we play with physics a little bit we create that seesaw and now i want to show you how you can create a wheel for that let's just create a new project of game maker language let's call it wheel and in here let's just create an sprite for our ground str ground let's edit it Fill it up with something like this. And now let's just create object for that. OBG ground. And add an sprite to it. And you know that we want it to use physics. So check this use physics. Physics and go to physics. Because we want this object to be a static. We should set the density of or the weight of this object to zero. So it won't move. So it will be a static. If you don't know what a static kinematic and dynamic means just watch my last video about this so now we have this ground let's just go to room and put it in here and know that we have this let's just create another sprite spr wheel okay and in here let's just import a wheel in here and this is our wheel let's just create an object for that obg wheel add that sprite to it so this is our wheel we wanted to use physics and no let's just put it on our room no let's just run it and you can see nothing happened why because i did forget to enable physics on our room okay so you should go to your room in room physics enable physics so let's just run it again and this way our wheel will go down okay so now everything is working let's just open this uh, our wheel go to physics again modify collision shape it's at default is this shape but we want it to be a circle okay so know that it is circle let's just close it so what i want to do i want it to give it a force so it will uh, rotate by hitting arrow in your keyboard okay so let's just open the obg wheel let's just add a key down right so key down right whenever they hit right arrow key on their keyboard we want to apply torque to our wheel okay so what we should say we should say physics apply torque and i want to add 500 thousand okay so now that we have this let's just run it to see what will happen let's go down and you can see how fast it's rotating so let's just decrease it by one zero in here because it's too fast let's just run it again and you can see it is rotating but it's not moving a lot why because of this friction the friction is too low so you remember we talk about this friction the wheel of the car the friction of this wheel is a lot and you know that if you have a car right so let's just add to add it like 20 and let's just decrease this by one zero again so you should change the value until you reach the value that you want okay so when we hit right arrow it go right and everything is working right so let's just add the left key down in here as well so left i want to copy paste this and instead of 5000 i want to say minus 5000 okay so we can go right we can get back to left and everything is now working so let's just do another thing in here let's just add a, a sprite in here spr triangle edit it and i want to create triangle here that's cool now that we have this let's just create an object for that obg triangle you can create whatever shape you want we wanted to use physics and we want to add this triangle in here go to physics modify its shape you can see default is this but we don't want that so select convex shape 
select here, select here, select here, and everything is okay now, right? So let's just close it and go to a room and add this here, make it a little bigger, something like this, to see if our wheel can climb that or not, right? So I want to go right, and you can see everything is working. So let's just add it to the middle of our room so we can play with that. Okay, so so now we have our wheel. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create two wheels and connect them together. After that, how you can add suspension to your, to your game. Okay, so hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to help me, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.